millions upon millions of people who played guitar over the millennia, and the notes and the scales are the same. And so when you find someone that creates such a signature style and such a language of their own with their own vocabulary that's immediately translatable to the audience, where the audience immediately is moved and connects and gets it, then that, that is extra special. I, I always tried to surround myself with great, great guitar players. And Neil Sean, the principal among them really, he's one of the most underrated of, of them all. Even though he sold hundreds of millions of records and made a fortune and had all the women and the booze and the drugs and the cars and the, everything that you could imagine in the stereotypical rock lifestyle. Uh, and loads of money, but ah, it doesn't matter. Still, we'll go to his grave underrated. One of my biggest shocks of, uh, of all time came in 2010 when the Giants won the World Series. And of course there's gonna be a parade, and of course their theme song, as has been the case actually with a number of teams, including the 05 White Sox, they adopted Don't Stop Believing as their theme song. But when the audience, without prompting, decided in this moment of jubilation to all in unison break out and sing when the lights go down in the city, totally caught me by surprise. I was stunned. I was shocked. I, was, I had total reverence for Steve Perry <laughs> and the songwriters renewed. Always loved the song. First single I tried to break off of the Infinity album. Loved it. It was the first song I had Steve Perry play for the band when I wanted them to embrace him as their new lead singer.